During oil extraction, billions of cubic meters of methane or natural gas are produced that are often wastefully flared off. There are currently no processes available in which a use could be found for this gas. Catalysis offers a solution to this problem and many others. In fact, it plays an increasingly important role in many different areas. The Interdisciplinary Research Network, Unifying Concepts in Catalysis, otherwise UNICAT, investigates the possibilities offered by catalysis within the context of a wide variety of applications, from energy provision in biohydrogen to new agents for use in biotechnology, chemistry, and pharmaceuticals. Four universities, two research institutes, 60 project leaders, and more than 250 researchers in and around Berlin are working together in collaboration with numerous partners in industry in order to set new standards in catalysis. In the Berlin activities, we are trying to integrate all the strengths in catalysis research in order to address three points, which are first, uh, hydrogen technology, for example, the production of hydrogen by using uh, uh, bioenzymes. Uh, second, I would like to address uh, methane functionalization. There are uh, huge amounts of methane available which cannot be reasonably used uh, these days. And third, but not least, um, we would like to make antibiotics, new types of uh, antibiotics by using the beauty of all the um, um, uh, biological techniques and synthetic techniques to vary uh, antibiotics. An important research area within UNICAT is the oxidative coupling of methane. Using this process, Professor Reinhard Schomecker aims to produce the ethylene from methane. Ethylene is a valuable raw material for industry, for example in the production of polyethylene film and packaging. However, without the use of a catalyst, the methane simply burns. In order to produce valuable products, we need catalysts to fuse the methane molecules to higher hydrocarbons. And with this equipment, we would like to understand how a catalyst enables the reaction at lower temperatures and how to direct the reaction to the desired products. This mini plant is being used by a UNICAT team to investigate how the oxidative coupling of methane can subsequently become an industrial standard. Professor Vozny's team is responsible for the design, construction and operation of the automated pilot plant. In addition to the improved exploitation of fossil fuels, part of UNICAT's work is the study of new sources of energy, particularly biohydrogen. The objective of Professor Friedrich's team is to use cyanobacteria to bring together protons and electrons from the photosynthetic splitting of H2O in order to produce hydrogen. They do so by catalysis of the photosystem in combination with another catalyst, the so-called hydrogenase. And in our UNICAT excellence cluster, we are investigating hydrogenases that are especially particularly suitable for the production of hydrogen. Microorganisms can be used to manufacture a great deal more than just hydrogen. Professor Roderich Susmut and his team are researching bacteria and fungi that with the help of biological catalysts yield natural products that may have antibacterial, antiviral or even anti-tumor effects. Professor Susmut is researching the design of these usually high complex molecules in nature. They are synthesizing an enormous variety of different molecules with different functions like anti-tumor compounds, antibiotic compounds, anti-pain compounds. And in the next step, we try to isolate the biocatalysts and to manip manipulate them on a genetic and an, on a protein level in order to generate new functions and uh, to generate compounds with new bioactivity in these various fields like anti-cancer, -can anti-tumor, and also like uh, in these uh, fire blight projects we are working on. The aim of the fire blight project is to project apple and pear orchards from a bacterial pest that originated in the USA and now threatens European orchards. This causes damages worth 300 million euros per year. Research and catalysis could also offer a solution in this area. UNICAT is also equipped for the challenges the future holds. The Big NSE is a graduate school affiliated to the cluster that aims to attract talented young scientists from around the world with its interdisciplinary program. I'm interested in catalysis and then UNICAT is perfect. And um, what's really special is of course the other students here because they are my connection to the different parts of UNICAT. And whenever I have a scientific problem, I can go to them, and I got a lot of help from them. 
the students are from all over the world, and, uh, but we have a common interest. We are very similar in that sense, and this is something that is really special. Collaboration between the different disciplines is essential in meeting the challenges of research into catalysis. These disciplines range from classic chemistry to IT, taking in areas as diverse as microbiology and engineering. The central aspect is understanding of molecular processes. In other words, also to combine the knowledge of biological functions and catalysis and technological applications. Uh, and therefore, we hope to have some impact on this uh, urgent field uh, in catalysis uh, research development. The research network Unifying Concepts in Catalysis, UNICAT, aims to use catalysis to solve the problems of the future in a wide range of areas.